YouTube. Today I'm going to be making a power functions battery compartment which is really small because I'm sick of these being massive. Look how f fat they are. This is a 9 volt rechargeable lithium battery and I'm going to take the lithium battery out and take the front of this and get the lithium battery on back of the front so it will weigh nothing. First, I need to undo these screws on both sides. They're very tight. Annoyingly, there's clips underneath here, and I need to pull them away to get this to come out. Because it's stuck. So I have to pry a screwdriver underneath and pull it out like that. I've got to be very careful because this is the thing I want to preserve. Now I'm going to pull the other side out and there. It's out. I've got to keep this piece and this piece. So this piece slides in there and it works because this switch touches these terminals making the motor polarity change through this. Now, we've got to plug this inside here and cut these two bits off. There and there. And then put the 9 volt on there. And that should be done. Later that same evening, we didn't have a hacksaw, so we just decided to melt it away. There's many ways of keeping the circuit board in, but I'm going to melt the plastic away since we have a soldering iron. It looks very messy right now, but I'll use this file to get it to look better. Also, do not connect any, do not melt any of the plastic to that iron switch, otherwise it will not move anymore. Six and a half hours later. Now this looks much better after we've sanded it. Now I'm going to thread these two wires through the screw hole that was originally there. And connect them to those two points. Then I'll put this thing on so this is nice and smooth. And then put the 9 volt battery on top. Connect that in there, and that should work. So here it is. We sanded off bits of the corners to make it look really nice, and we used bits of the battery bottom pieces to get like these to get it to look good. So now I'm going to glue that onto there. I connected the battery to the switch, and now it can control the motor. And it only weighs 41 grams. But then one of these weighs 220. So yeah, you can glue a Lego piece like there, 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 there. This is something I made using the small battery pack. Good luck making your own battery. Goodbye.